Thank you, everybody, for your patience. We'll go ahead and begin the first portion of our press conference here today from Okinawa, Japan. Final score, Slovenia 91, Australia 80. We're joined by Australia head coach Brian Gorgian and Josh Giddy. And before we open up for questions on the floor, Coach Gorgian and Josh, we'd like to hear an opening statement about this contest and your impressions. Josh, if we can first hear from you. Um, yeah, obviously disappointing um, when you you know, coming into this, that it was a do or die match, and uh, we had to, you know, win to, to keep our, you know, chances alive of winning the medal. And um, and you know, as I said earlier in the in the tournament, these slow starts against good teams, uh, slow starts um, against you know good uh, good teams like this, like you know Germany, um, it's hard to come back and win. And you know, we we're playing from behind all night, trying to dig ourselves out of a hole that felt like it kept getting deeper and deeper. And um, every time we made a run, it was just hard to, you know, sustain. And um, yeah, I mean, there's obviously a lot of emotion um, that, you know, this is the end of our tournament and we can't progress any further. But um, yeah, I mean, it's disappointing. And um, yeah, that's it. Thank you, Josh. And Coach Corgin? Well, the game plan after what uh, Schroeder did, um, controlling the tempo, um, playing a low possession game. Um, I thought the the game plan um, of getting the ball out of Luca's hand, um, uh, doubling him on on balls, and then hitting him when he was isolated as a change um, was was really effective. And what we talked about was um, the key to this thing is the other players and rebounding when we're flying around like that. And uh, uh, we struggled on the glass um, when we when we when we got back into the game each time. And uh, the other players um, beating our guys off the dribble one on one, just um, that side of it. Um, I, you're, you're rolling the dice. Are we good enough to get that side of it done if we do that with Luca? And that was the gamble. And we got hurt on on that end of it. And then offensively, for us, we play at pace. And when we move the ball and dribble it less, um, we're we're a really good team. And tonight, um, again, the offensive end, we got the pace going, we got the possessions going, but there was too much bounce. So, um, you know, when you get in a game like this and there's a lot of pressure, um, who you are comes out, and we're uh, a step off it right now. Thank you, Coach. We'll go ahead and open up for questions from the floor. Just raise your hand, and we'll have a microphone come to you. And please introduce yourself and your affiliation. Thank you. Hi, Andre Milkovic, Akipa, Slovenia. Uh, Question for both, please. Uh, did you consider Lucas' foul trouble too big of a victory for you during the game, especially the fourth foul, which, which came really early by a uh, really experienced move by Patty Mills? Well, I, I thought, uh, again, the whole Lucas situation, um, I, I was pleased with tonight. He's a tremendous player. And when he got in foul trouble, obviously that's to our advantage. Um, we wanted to um, get to him in any way we could legally. And I thought we did that. When he was in foul trouble, I thought that played to our advantage. But again, um, and we talked about this, and the key to the game tonight was all the other guys. You know, Toby on the glass, um, all their perimeter players hitting big threes, dribble penetration by, um, and ball movement. And uh, even the start of the fourth quarter, when he sat, they went on a 15-4 run. So um, the point you're making was the key to the game when we got Luca in foul trouble or when we took him out of the game, the, the, the rest of the team really hurt us, really hurt us. Next question, front row here. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, from Josh. Uh, what was the question, sorry? Uh, did you consider Lucas Paul trouble to be of a victory and relax too much uh, after he was? Um, a little bit. Um, obviously, you know, he's their main guy, and um, it, you know, it helps having, having him off the floor. But, um, you know, I don't think our guys worried about it too much. We, we tried to put him into some action, um, not because of the fouls, but just, you know, that, that was part of the game plan. And um, obviously, Patty made a smart play to get him that fourth. But, you know, credit to him, he didn't foul again after that. But, um, you know, obviously they're better with him on the floor, so um, they kept him out there for a good part of that second half. But um, yeah, I mean that didn't really have too much of an outcome on the game. I think uh, there's a lot of other stuff that we could have controlled, and um, we just had to have been better. Here in the front row, Gorge Matt Logan um, at News. Um, this is a slow starts. It was something that's been a trend for for a while. Um, what can you 
can you put your finger on anything on, on why it, it keeps happening? Um, like obviously the preparation and the training you've always said has been you know really strong. But yeah, why has that been a trend? I I, I can't. Tell, I I just thought. Um, you know, like like right from the tip, Luca. The the whole focus is Luca, and he gets a layup on the jump ball, and then the next possession they throw it to him in the block, and we were supposed to bring the double, and we didn't, and we fouled. It's like um, you got to play through some mistakes um, before it clicks in. And tonight, um, I thought that was a a big emotional thing for Josh Green. You know, you have a you're all excited about this deal, and he's already got five points b before you even blink because the the, the game plan wasn't tight. So um, uh, we changed the lineups, uh, um, rotated bodies. Um, I can't put a finger on that. I really can't. Obviously, it's early on, but with Josh coming in and, and Josh Giddy and, and other young guys, pieces coming in and, and the team, you know, changing of the guard, how do you view this this tournament in terms of its success and because there wasn't always going to be an element of it taking time with the new pieces coming in well i mean we're the 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 metal ranking teams in this and i think slovenia is that which we played in germany is that which we played they, they they could get a gold medal silver medal bronze they're a that and we um are a step off that right now we we were right there with germany and i thought going into the fourth tonight as bad as we played and as shaky as we were offensively it was 66 62. so um you know it starts now preparation for the olympics but this uh um you know learned a lot and um i think we're in the process of change in style of play both offensively and defensively and uh I'm still, I'm, 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 we're all disappointed, but I'm excited about where this thing can go um, and a, definitely a clearer picture after playing this tournament. Two more questions up here in the front is one. Uh, Jacob Dool, the Pick and Roll Australia. Uh, Gorge, you spoke a little bit in your summary about the offense and how there was too much dribbling and the ball wasn't moving. Is there anything in particular, I guess, either that you saw from Slovenia defensively or that your guys weren't doing that, that led to that and made that happen? No, I just, I just thought, uh, like we, we said in the first half, I thought we, we got in way too deep and took a lot of funny two-point flips instead of in the last game against Japan, we jump-stopped in there and punched that ball out to the second side. And if we didn't have anything, then we'd come back middle pick and roll. And tonight, we just took, uh, I thought, a lot of unbalanced twos. Um, our spacing wasn't great, and we probably took that extra bounce or extra two bounces and maybe you know everybody knew the importance of this we've got a lot of great players and um maybe um individually trying to do a little too much but uh uh yeah the the offense was frustrating i'm sure from a coaching standpoint but also when they were out there you could see some frustration that the ball wasn't moving and the last question here in the back gorge organology espn australia uh, how seriously do you treat the result of this tournament in the sense of, is there a sense that you want to fully and full-throatedly lean in to the young guys who emerged in this tournament? And perhaps that changing of the guard could be a bit more intense and quicker than perhaps you thought it'd be? Yeah, I mean, I, I think um, there's the, the youth of this thing um, is for real. And we're changing styles of play. And again, um, we've made some move coming into this, you know, the Delhi, the Baines, um, and, and I, I, I really like Daniels. I think that's another piece to add to that. You got Jock Landell to add to this. Um, clearer with all of that, you know, and uh, some big decisions are ahead. Um, but um, again, I, I, I like what, uh, what's in front of me. Okay. Thank you, everybody. That will go ahead and conclude this press conference. Um, Coach Gorgian and Josh, good luck to you the rest of the way. Thank you. Thank you.